Alright, so we loaded it back up. Let's... I can't remember what we were supposed to do. Alright, let's double check here. So... nothing. Alright. No. Well, good thing that a scene just automatically started. Whoa! Ow! Today must be my day for randomly running into people. Sorry about that, I'm just looking for somebody. Say, you're not from around here, are you? Uh, nope, we're from out of town. Hey, aren't you... What? We ran into a girl who said she was looking for a boy who was wearing a cap. You know anything about that? Oh, I'm looking for her, actually. Uh, where'd you see her? Over by the tavern. It was a while ago, though, so I'm not sure where she went. Would you like us to help you search? Uh, no, that's okay. I'm pretty sure I can find her. Uh, okay, bye. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that kid seems pretty energetic. He reminds me a little of Luke back in Roland. I wonder what kid, what the kids are up to now. Uh, what's wrong? Uh, it might just be my imagination, but have you lost anything? Uh, lost what? Anything you're wearing? Like a money pouch or something? Uh, why are you asking me all of a sudden? Let's see, pouch check, hairbands check, bracer emblem. <gasps> I knew it. What the? Where is it? Did I drop it on the mountain pass or something? Calm down. I remember that you had it when we were eating lunch. If you lost it, it has to be somewhere around here. But where around here? Oh, no way. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. It probably was that kid. I bet it happened when he accidentally ran into you. What? Why would he want my bracer emblem? What reason does a kid have for wanting anything? He probably just took it because he could. <sighs> he is in so much trouble. Once I get my hands on him, he's going to get the spanking of his life. Now, calm down. For now, let's focus on figuring out where he is. Well, we saw him run this way, so he's probably in the... In? Maybe we can ask around. A little boy, anything special about him? Uh, well, he's wearing a cap, and he's kind of a brat. <laughs> okay. So none of them saw him, so he's probably not in here. Yeah. They all said the same thing, so he didn't come through here. Hey, what's wrong? Um, I have a question for you. You haven't seen a little boy in a cap around here, have you? Hmm, let me think. Was he a student's guest at the Royal Academy? Uh, yes, actually. Do you know the boy? Hmm, he's not from this town. I think he's one of the orphans. Huh? From Mercia Orphanage. A woman called Matron Teresa is the administrator. Straight her. She takes in kids who've lost their parents. It's just off the Gull Seaway side to the east. So the kid lives there. Let's go check it out. Okay. Um, is there a beach? The orphanage is just up there. Okay. Let's fight these things. They're weird looking. Alright. is going to be enough. Yep, it was. Perfect. Excellent. Oh god. No! That actually really flippin' hurt. Piece of cake! Piece of cake. We need more party members. Oh, what's going on here? North, Mercia Orphanage. 
Looks like it's up ahead. Yeah. What's wrong, Estelle? Okay, that settles it. The situation has nothing to do with it. It's not okay to take things from people. When we find him, we need to punish him. Uh, I'll leave it to you to get all worked up over it. But for right now, you need to just settle down, okay? Seems like she's having a hard time with this, the fact that he's an orphan. I swear, Clem, where did you go? Miss Chloe is going to be worried about you. Haha, <laughs> no she won't. Not after I show her the awesome thing I got. Uh, what'd you get, Clem? Haha, <laughs> don't freak out or, not, or anything. I just borrowed it from some crazy lady I ran into. Who are you calling crazy? Huh? Uh, what are you doing here? Hm, I'm a bracer. Give me a little credit. Whenever a delinquent like you goes, we're in, wherever a delinquent like you goes, we'll figure it out in no time. Damn it! Well, you're not catching me. Hey, get back here! <laughs> hey, Mister, what's going on? Did Clem do something bad again? I'm sorry to barge in like this. Damn it! Let me go! Let me go! I'll sue you for child abuse. You're a real brat, you know that? Now give me back my emblem. You got no proof I took it. Well, you're right on that one, but that's nothing a quick search won't fix. Y yeah! Hey, cut it out, that tickles. Pervert abuse! <laughs> Come on, just give it up and hand over what you took. Seek! Uh, what? What the hell was that? Get away from the boy. Lay another hand on him and you'll have me to con- Huh? Hey, you're that- I remember you from Honoria. Scree! Help me, Miss Chloe. I didn't do anything and she's being mean to me. Didn't do anything, my butt. You stole my emblem. Heh, so where's your proof? And no tickling this time. Arr. Hey, we meet again. Oh, hello. I'm sorry, I thought for sure that a thief had broken in. I assume there's a reason for all this? There sure is, Miss Chloe. Clem was being bad again. Hey, is the apple pie ready yet? You'll have to wait a little longer. It still needs time to bake. You friggin' brat. Child abuser. When are you gonna grow up, Clem? Is the pie done yet? <laughs> This has gotten out of hand. Oh, <laughs> yes, I suppose it has. Scree! My, what's all the noise? Matron Teresa! I don't know the full story, but it sounds like Clem's been up to no good. Hey, no fair! I didn't do anything! That pervert lady just says I did! Who are you calling a pervert? Oh dear, this won't do. Clem, did you really not do anything? Uh, of course not. Do you swear to Idios? I, I, I swear. I see. It's, the, it's just that you dropped some kind of badge in the nursery earlier. That wasn't yours, was it? But, but it was in my pants pocket. Er, I told you. Oh my. Nicely done. Clem, no more excuses. Give her back what you stole. Hmm. Alright, alright, I'll give it back, so just drop it. So Tem Kloss tossed the emblem over to Estelle. Whoa. <laughs> I'm out of here. Clem. It's alright, he'll be back when he starts getting cold. More to the point, why is everyone standing around? Why don't you tell me the whole story over a cup of tea? Stella introduced herself and explained about the recent events over a veritable feast of tea and pie. I see. He really isn't a mean-spirited child, but he can be quite the little trickster. As his guardian, I must apologize. I am truly sorry. Oh, it's okay. I got my emblem back. 
Plus, I got some tasty herbal tea and apple pie out of it, so we're square. Haha, <laughs> thank you both. The tea was really the best part, though. It's just like the kind they brew in the tavern. Is it grown locally? Yes, gardening is one of my hobbies, actually. I give some of the barkeep at the tavern whenever I have extra. Neat! I'm gonna have to give my vote to the apple pie, though. It was just plain amazing. Uh, well, I can't take credit for that. She made it. She? Who? You, Chloe? This is still so embarrassing. I was really rude earlier. To think I could be so mistaken. Oh, don't worry about it. Apple pie heals all wounds or something like that. Besides, I wasn't acting like any kind of saint myself. That white hawk sure surprised the hell out of me, though. Oh, that was Seek. He's a... Gur falcon. A gur falcon? That's Liberal's national bird, isn't it? You seem really comfortable with him. Is he your pet? No, I don't keep him. He's a close friend, though. Wow, as friends go, he's pretty awesome. That reminds me, aren't you a student at the Royal Academy? But you live here. No, I stay in the dorms on campus. It's not that far away, so... I like to come and visit when I can. Sometimes I worry... I might be kind of a bother, though. Oh dear, please don't think that. You're always so helpful when you come by. And the children are always happy to see you. Matron, I personally worry that you might be neglecting your duties at school in favor of us. I know that's a silly concern to have about you. I won't let you down. Hmm, you live on campus, huh? I've always kind of wanted to know what that was like. I imagine that we got a weekly taste of it at church lessons. But isn't the entrance exam for the academy pretty hard? I think my head would explode if I had to take an exam like that. <laughs> it's not so hard. I think it must be far more difficult to become a bracer. You know, I've always kind of wanted to be one ever since I was a little girl. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. You call me a bracer, but I'm still just an apprentice. We have to travel all over the kingdom before we can advance. I think we'll be in ruin for a little while, though. In that case, perhaps I'll have a chance to repay you. Plus, the children will love for you to come back and play again. I'll prepare a whole mountain of tea and baked goods. Uh, Matron Teresa sure is a nice lady. She, yeah, she's very motherly. I'm sure all the children here think of her as their mother. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, Sieg, were you waiting for me? Scree! That's right, they're not here to hurt anyone. This is Estelle and that's Joshua. You remember them, right? Scree. Good boy. Wow, can you actually talk to him? Well, he doesn't actually talk per se, but I can understand what he's trying to say. We've always been able to tell what the other is feeling. Whoa, bird telepathy is so cool. Sounds like mutual love to me. It is. Uh, hello, Seed. I'm Estelle, it's nice to meet you. Now, read my mind. Scree. Scree. <laughs> oh, <laughs> are my thoughts too complex to read? If you were thinking of what I think you were thinking, then no. <laughs> oh, by the way, aren't you two headed for ruin? Yeah, we're planning to register at the local guild. If we don't do that, we can't work. Well, if you're going to the Ruinian Guild, I have a few things to do over there myself. Maybe I could show you around? Really? That'd be great! But don't you have to go back to school soon? No, it's alright. I got special permission to be out today. I don't have to return until after nightfall. Sounds like a plan, then. Let's go to Ruin. Okay. Oh, but she didn't actually... So she joined me, but she's not actually in my party. Fresh eggs? What? I didn't know I could do that. Chasing chickens? Oh, come on. Get back here. Alright, well, we got the fresh eggs, so I guess I can't complain too much. Okay, I don't think there's really anything in here, but we'll take a peek just in case. And the kids, whatever. Alright, 
So let's continue on our way to Ruin so we can continue with our training to be a bracer and all the political garbage stuff that's going to show up soon, I'm assuming. Uh, Miss Chloe? No, it's him. Clem? Oh, it's that brat. You know you shouldn't be playing around here. Now, what would you do if a monster attacked you? I just had to come apologize to you. I'm sorry for lying about the emblem thingy. Uh, well, don't worry, I'm not mad at you. But isn't there someone else you should be apologizing to? Uh, uh, no, there isn't. Mm. I know you're a good boy, so why don't you go and apologize? Well, if you want me to, I guess I gotta. Um, Miss Bracer Lady? I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> you're apologizing to me? So there is justice in this world. Hey, don't don't get me wrong. I just wanted to apologize to Miss Chloe. Aren't bracers supposed to pay attention to what's going on? If a little kid like me can grab something off you so easily, what's your excuse? Uh. Bye. Make sure you hone that training of yours before you lose something even more valuable. <laughs> what a little brat! Settle down. He was just trying to hide his own embarrassment. Not to mention, you really aren't the most attentive person in the world. Maybe you should heed his advice. Uh, you're an even bigger brat. <laughs> you two must be really close. I mean, you act like brother and sister. Er, we do? Only insofar as we try to look out for each other. Oh, that's a big help. <laughs> I'm honestly a little envious. I was only a, I was an only child. I wish I knew what that kind of relationship feels like. Huh? Oh, it, it's nothing. Anyway, shouldn't we be heading out? We can get to ruin just by following the beach. Okay, let's get going then. Alrighty. I guess we can fight this thing. Because we haven't fought one of them yet. Oh, she, oh, she doesn't do anything, though. I just saw her turn <laughs> order, but she doesn't actually fight. She just moves around. Okay, let's do... A little strike on him. That should finish him off. Good. Although, probably should have did it to the other guy. But oh well. Oh, nice. <laughs> we petrified it. Quite convenient, I suppose. <laughs> Very good. That's that then. Let's move out. Okay. We definitely need an orbital factory, though. Can we go in the water? Oh, we can. Neat. There's much reason to be in the water, but alas, here we are. Tear bomb, which we don't really use because we can heal. I guess one of the reasons I'm kind of avoiding fights is because we only have one party member at the moment, so or two party members at the moment. We don't have anybody new with us. And where fights will be easier the more party members we have. So. Monsters really? Really game? Sorry, okay. We can do this. Um, craft, flicker. Flicker those two. And then you can do hurricane. There. That'll hit everybody, which is great. Huh? Hopefully some of them get petrified. None got petrified. But it's alright, we still kill two of them. Ow.
Oh, she's doing something. Oh, that's not good. Oh, she can actually cast healing spells. Nice. Too bad that she still is confused. Stop confusing her. Okay. Craft flicker on those two. Good. Two more down. Oh. I really don't like that. At least she's not completely useless. She heals, which is good. Oh nice, she actually restored the confusion. Very good. Okay, good. Oh darn. No. It's okay, Joshua will finish it off. There we go. Oh what? Better kill this. I guess not. Hey, I guess the stall will finish it off. There we go. Got a battle suit. Alright. Goes ADF. I don't know what ADF is. Be nice if there's like a um, Oh, interesting. So we do have a log of enemies. So we missed some in bows. Interesting. And we do have a map. Oh my god. I wish I'd known about this earlier. Her 
tier heals for a lot more than our tiers do. Okay. Get rid of that one. You can double strike that. Oh wow, he missed. Ugh, that sucks. Again. Good, 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 good. Alrighty. Piece of cake. Ooh, it's a lot of sepith. She does have the battle suit on. Oh, I really should have attacked the other one. What was I thinking? Uh, oh, well. Oh, yeah, see, they hurt him a lot more. Holy crap. She takes, like, no damage. I think we'll take a little break right here before we head into ruin and yeah so until next time thanks for watching <laughs>